हेलो गाइस हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू विष्णु स्मार्ट एन फो दिस इज योर ट्रैक टू फिजिक्स मेंट और दिस साइड चारू शर्मा एंड आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड एंड एंड आई आल्सो होप दैट यू हैव वॉच द लास्ट पार्ट थ्री लेसन ऑफ द मैकेनिकल प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ सॉलिड्स एंड वाई आई एम नॉट अंडरस्टैंडिंग दैट you people are making me disappointed by not liking the video like hardly there are so less likes and so less views and you are not at all commenting on the video so is it like you are finding hard to get on my videos or you are not finding on the channel because there are so many videos uploaded chemistry videos uh, biology videos are uploaded so probably that may be the reason or you are not feeling to watch it so please guys we are doing so much of hard work for you and you need to support so you what you need to support is just hit like and comment and you can feel free to comment anything like you want what changes in the classes to be made what should what should be the strategy to be followed so if like if you give more likes if you comment then only will come to know that people are getting um the help from us and then we can proceed with the further ideas we have but if you don't like and comment then we it will be everything waste now because there it the whatever the help we are trying to give is not getting to the right people so you should help guys like we are also simple students as you all are but trying to work hard and you need to help and how can you help just by like and comment and share subscribe that's it only this four things we are asking you to do i mean apart from this four things one more thing i am asking you to do is concentrate and study properly and study concentrate and study you know i will try to bring on some motivational videos also because i think how much ever i tell in every video you people are not helping it out at least in live you come or else if you are not able to find time on the live session afterwards you watch the recorded video but put a comment no like um whatever you may call me ma'am or um akka whatever you want to call me at least by that that we are liking your video or we are not liking your video please improve this thing or you are good at this thing like any put a good comment or a a uh, comment which help us to know that where we need to um, improve but do comment okay because that is the only mode we have we can interact with you because this is all recorded classes so when there is no one front of the uh, you and you are just explaining to the camera it feels very awkward but we are trying to do it because we know that people are watching it but they are very lazy to like and comment the video okay so please do that so in part 1 uh, i will just tell of the history uh, of uh, what uh, what all we are done with so we are in so anyone new on the channel or watching the video for the first time i will let you know uh, that on vishnu smart info channel we have been running a series called astitva series for need 2003 people and even 2004 aspirants also can watch it so what does the series is about we the students only because you know sometimes the connectivity between a a professor or a lecturer and a student is not that close as compared to a student who has already come from that similar journey so here we some students and vishnu sir and everyone takes up one one subject and try to make on lecture videos on it we also try to imp, uh, put applications possible questions uh, on which type uh, type of questions asked and we try to put the videos so there is like schedule going on so we have for physics two tracks one is physics track 1 and one is physics track 2 in track 1 we they are uh, dealing with uh, vertical circular motion uh, currently 
and they have completed uh, all the chapters like work one energy and newton's law of motion motion in a plane motion in a straight line you can find the playlist also in track 2 which was lately started we have completed gravitation chapter successfully i'm really sorry ignore that sound due to crackers okay so uh, in track 2 physics we have successfully completed gravitation chapter So I'm really sorry for that cracker disturbance sound. Okay, so I was telling about track 2 physics schedule. So in track 2 physics schedule, you know, we are done with a gravitation chapter. And there are almost 5 videos on it. So you can watch out the playlist. And now we are dealing with mechanical properties of solids. Uh, in mechanical properties of solids, we are done with almost whole lesson. Uh, I have in part 1 video. I have explained about all the important terms like stress, strain, different types of stress, different type of strains. In part 2 video, we discussed about the Hooke's law graph. And in the part 3 video, we discussed about some applications, important applications. And now today is the part 4 video of mechanical properties of solids in which we are discussing uh, today thermal stress and wires in series combination wires in parallel combination and uh, potential energy elastic potential energy or strain energy okay so these uh, topics will be discussed in today's video i hope i was very clear so let's start with uh, thermal stress okay let's start up with thermal stress so what do you mean by thermal stress Thermal stress. What do you mean by thermal stress? Thermal stress is nothing but it is whatever the stress is caused. It is due to the change in temperature. Thermal means temp heat or temperature. So whatever the stress is caused, it is due to due to change in change in temperature. Due to change in temperature. What will happen, you know, what we will do is, we will put fixed, uh, we will put a rod, this is our rod, between two fixed supports. So, between these two fixed supports, we kept our rod and now we will apply heat to it. We will heat this condition. So, when we heat this, this rod wants to expand, but due to this fixed supports, it couldn't expand. And there will be a development of stress in it. But this stress is caused due to this heat. So we will call this stress to be as thermal stress. That's it. And now for this rod you will have uh, in the question given with the Young's modulus. What is the Young's modulus of the rod? You will have been given with the area of the rod. Area of cross section. And you will also be given with the whatever the alpha value of the rod. What is alpha? It is linear expansion of the rod right like in a uh, thermal properties of matter chapter you will come to know about alpha beta gamma okay alpha beta gamma so alpha beta gamma is nothing but alpha is coefficient of linear expansion beta is coefficient of aerial expansion and gamma is the coefficient of volume expansion so this this will also be provided and even the temperature difference uh, by what temperature difference you are hitting the rod like from what temperature t1 temperature to t2 temperature this will also be provided in the question so when everything is provided what are you uh, uh, supposed to find is thermal stress but we know that any kind of stress is what any kind of stress is nothing but equal to force upon area stress is equals to force upon area so this force upon area only you need to find. So we know normally that Y Young's modulus is equals to stress upon strain. Stress is F by A and upon strain. So elongation upon original length. So original length we write this here. If you don't know how we got this, you need to watch the previous video. Okay. So instead of now elongation, I can write you if in thermal properties of a matter chapter you will come to know that linear coefficient of linear expansion 
is equals to change in length. Change in length is nothing but your elongation only. So, coefficient of linear expansion is equals to E upon original length into temperature difference. So, in place of E, you can write, this is L, capital L. You can write alpha L into delta T. So, you can write this term in place of E. I hope you can see it. Yes. So, you can write this term in place of E. So, Y is equals to F into L upon A into alpha L delta T. LL gets cancelled. It becomes F upon A alpha delta T. So, your Young's modulus ka value you got as this. Okay. So, now they were asking you to find thermal stress. What is thermal stress? F upon A, right? So, F upon A if I bring and bring this alpha delta T multiplied with Y. So, alpha delta T multiplied with Y. This is the value of your thermal stress. This is all calculation part only. Simple calculation. Just you need to understand the concept. So, this was all simple calculation only. What we do, first we, we need to know what is meant by stress. Stress is nothing but force upon area. Now, stress is force upon area means we know from a previous formula that Young's modulus is equal to stress upon strain. Stress we denote as force upon area. And strain is elongation by original length. Strain is elongation by original length. Now, in place of elongation, I can get this elongation term from this alpha delta T. Why I am substituting all this? Because uh, there is no elongation in the rod. No, that's what I said. It wanted to elongate, but it could not elongate because of these two fixed supports. So, I need to eliminate this term elongation. So, for eliminating the term elongation from where do I get that is from this expression that coefficient of linear expansion is equals to elongation upon original length into the temperature difference. So, in place of elongation, I can put this value. I, if I substitute that value here, uh, LL gets cancelled and uh, you will get that Young's modulus is equals to force upon area into coefficient of linear expansion into temperature difference. Just now, what we know, we want that stress. Stress is force by area. So, keeping force by area one side, substituting other terms, uh, sending the other terms to the other side. So, F by A is equals to alpha delta T into Y. That simple it is. Okay. So, this is all about thermal stress. If in the question it is asked about thermal force, this is thermal stress. If thermal force is asked, so if thermal force is asked, thermal force, what from this formula only, you know, send uh, area also that side. So, that becomes alpha delta T Y A. That's it. I hope that is clear. Okay. So, this is your thermal force expression. This is your thermal stress expression. Thermal stress expression. Okay. Now, if they ask you that instead of uh, this fixed support, suppose this, when we start thinking about heat, when and whenever you see in question heat, you will forget the simple logic also. So, for that reason, I am asking you a question. I want the answers in the comment box below. I will not say the answer. Okay, so uh, this is your horizontal smooth surface, normal surface it is. And I placed a rod here. I placed a rod here. And I supplied heat to it now. What did I supply? Heat. So after supplying heat, now I am asking for this rod what will be the value of thermal stress. For this rod, what is the thermal stress? Okay, I won't give any options also because it's very clear. You should understand the concept of thermal stress. What did I say? Thermal stress arises due to change in heat. And also, it is stress means the rod wants to expand but it could not expand. So, these two concepts you should remember when you are seeing for thermal stress. Now, here you should understand. There is temperature change already given. Heat is given. But, is the second case there? What was the second case? That rod wants to expand but could not expand. Now, your answer should be here. The rod will expand or not. And once it expands, will there be thermal stress? Or it doesn't expand, what will be the amount of thermal stress?